well aware of my point that we are heading towards a uh, depression uh, throughout the stock markets in the world uh, apart from uh, in in China Chinese stock market is looking a little different in today's video however we are going to analyze two of the most common indices one is uh, DAX and the other one is uh, India's nifty the DAX is Germany's uh, I think it's DAX 40 DAX 40 I think it is so uh, and we are going to discuss nifty which is uh, I had a request from before and we are gonna uh, start uh, to incorporate both of them in our week weekly analysis at least I will try about that in addition to that I we will also discuss uh, Forex market we will look at British pound Canadian dollar and euro so we are going to discuss five of those two of the stock indices which is DAX and nifty and three of the major pairs in the forex market British pound Canadian dollar and euro so let's start first of all we are going to see a uh, DAX here now DAX is uh, looking like a little more weaker uh, than uh, some other I won't say US as compared to I would say I would compare it with the with UK's one uh, they are approximately in the same region uh, Europe is very close to Britain is is very close to Europe right they have a very small border along with them so I think the economies are moving together at least what that's what the uh, the charts are suggesting right now <coughs> um, pardon me so the long-term chart there's a possibility this is uh, for the time being this is the time being fixed it does not mean that we are actually uh, gonna rely it it's one of the alternate counts the long-term fix which we are seeing right now let me see that let me do that auto right over here okay this is an important area for now there are a couple of possibilities that this is an a b and c and then we have an a b and c and we are heading down to that word for a couple of years uh, to fix that another probability is that okay this is not this is an a b c and this is the wave 5 of the the previous structure that actually started way back uh, somewhere back in 2000 ish and that in that case we are heading further down and in that case the bottom should be occurring around here which is 3700 ish I know looking at right now DAX is trading at 13,400 500 ish and the top was made around 16,000 so when I try to tell you that in the longer time period uh, the uh, the target is 3700 ish area it looks pretty nasty and you're right so that's why I have come up with this target which is 8200 ish and after that if that gets broken then after we'll uh, start looking for other accounts of the labeling for now we are definitely looking at an ABC and ABC and then we are expecting for the price to go downward uh, the problem here is that if that is the case in that case I'm asking for, I'm saying that we are looking for about uh, seven to eight years of uh, time period when prices will be able to come out of the the top so in that case that means that we are going to go up and down uh, for th in this region from the top and the bottom because this is an ABC this will complete a W and then we will go an X and Y however it's a little too early to call all the, those things on a daily time frame there's a higher probability now we can see the charts more clearly on the daily time frame so whether this this is part of the impulse wave previous or whether this is part of the correction in both the cases we are heading down and this is what uh, my today's analysis is coming so DAX is providing it looks like on a smaller time frame we can see uh, that we have kind of seen V1 and 2 right over here and then we have seen wave 3 and wave 4 although it was very deep uh, we are clearly seeing that wave 5 is going to be more subdivided it's kind of more kind of looking looking like an ending diagonal we have a wave 1 2 and 3 and 4 since wave 3 is already larger as compared to wave 1 so it does not mean that uh, wave 5 is going to be approximately of the same size but this provides the tendency that as soon as this correction is complete we are expecting a larger move downward and we can see that the previous correction stayed in this region right over here so our immediate target for DAX is 11,500 this is the bearish move but uh, we still have to wait for a couple of days before we can actually uh, say that we are uh, bearish okay so this is the target we are looking for let me bring that in again here in DAX 
Now this will be the, this will be the fifth wave, all right? And this will be the fifth wave of the fifth wave. We can clearly see wave one and two, three and four, uh, which is kind of right in cl very close to the uh, uh, entering territory of wave one, but it did not actually go in there. Uh, so let's have a look on. Uh, let me enlarge the chart right over here. Now here comes the trading pro opportunity. And the trading opportunity is that it looks like that we are going to continue this move for a couple of days right over here. And we are going to probably in this region somewhere over, over here. And the trading opportunity comes over here when we see the break of this horizontal support that we are seeing. It's an amazing, uh, very clear pattern. We have seen that. I have indicated it uh, on my channel regularly. And I'm s I see this kind of behavior very often. And we are expecting for the price to go up and when it returns a break of this region would be very very interesting to see uh, and if you guys want to be uh, using an hourly time frame and you say okay the entry is pretty late uh, for something in that regard we can definitely use uh, a trend line okay we can definitely use a trend line right over here too we can combine this and we can combine that uh, conditionally the price does not move on the side too much if it moves on the side, then we'll have to rearrange the trend line. But for next couple of days, two, three days, they're expected to be bullish on the DAX, and then I'm expecting it to turn bearish, uh, much like uh, we are expecting FTSE. So FTSE, next couple of days, uh, there's a possibility, although I did say in my analysis for FTSE that I'm expecting a Monday to be bearish. So I looked at the chart again, there's a possibility of a couple of days more bullish price action. Uh, so it's kind of going in the s in making the same price patterns uh, as we have seen in FTSE. So after this price action is complete, the larger drop should be downward, and that's what I'm. I think we should be focusing on right now, and that's going to be a very very interesting trading opportunity. Now Nifty, if some of you guys have uh, looked at Nifty, it has one. It is one of the strongest markets right now. Okay. So just so we guys uh, are aware of Nifty, let me go on a weekly time frame and this is what happened after COVID. So during the COVID, it went to 7,500 and look at the boom that we have seen. It went away 18,600. My God, unbelievable progress that we have seen, especially in the stock market of India. Unbelievable. So what we are going to see right now, another thing that we are seeing, we are seeing deeper corrections in Nifty, all indicating uh, that there is a strong, strong strength on the bullish side. But since we are in the bearish trend, so we'll see how long this strength can actually last. Uh, on a daily time frame, we have already started from going down from over here. And we'll look at how the prices are going on. We'll see that every time price has a chance to go up, it makes a deeper cut. And that's an indication of strength in the market on the bullish side, right? Here's some labeling that I've done for my uh, followers in India. I'm labeling it as wave one, this is wave one, and then this is an A and a B and a C as wave two. And then th I'm considering this as wave three and this as wave four. So just give me a moment, maybe a little. This needs to be done right over here. So as you guys can see, the trend line that's coming from the top is important. I'm expecting that in the next couple of days, we are probably expected to see a retest of that trend line. And then I'm expecting for the price to drop downward and create a new low. We I can see that this rejection, first of all, this rejection happened on this this one. And then this rejection that happened on this trend line, on this structure. So we can easily actually guide ourselves for the expected target on the downside, which is right over here. 14,150-ish is our target when it reaches top and we are to expect to go downward in wave 5. That would be completing wave 1 and th at that point this will be completing wave 1 or this black one that we're seeing. This would actually complete wave 1 and we can simply see uh, that so far we have seen only deeper price action. So we shall expect to continue that the deeper price action will carry on in wave two as well. If things change, definitely will give an indication, market will give an indication. But for now, I'm considering this as wave one, and this as an A, 
a B and a C and then we can see that wave 3 occurred not with that strength wave 4 would go all the way in the deep area we can consider this as a double zigzag pattern right over here we already have A, B, C and correction and A, B and C <coughs> there is a possibility that it, this might turn into triple zigzag however the target remains in this region and after that will turn bearish let's have a look on our hourly time frame to fine tune our uh, price behavior <coughs> so we need definitely need to draw a, a trend line So right now, uh, on the horizontal side, so far we have seen this pullback. So I'm not expecting that the price is going to cross this pullback. I'm expecting that if we do see some behavior, that will be on the side wave and another push upward is expected. So for now, we can see that we can use this as an entry point, but we'll have to change that in the future because we want to keep it to the last uh, previous low right that we have seen. So once we, we see a price behavior side wave and price goes up, we can actually move it to upside. But for now, it stays right over here. Just in case things don't go as uh, I have analyzed, if prices drop below that, that will be indication that the structure that actually started from over here ended over here and then we can turn easily on the bearish. That's why I have put it over here. But right now, uh, India's uh, nifty, 50, Nifty 50 is showing much better strength as compared to even US's or even UK's or Germany's uh, stock indices. So there's a lot of strength in there. We can see that every time it had a chance, it created a deeper price action. So that's an indication of uh, a possibility that the bulls are still not giving away. Let's have a look at forex right now and see how the forex is doing uh, let me have a look at forex and here it is forex okay let's bring zero okay next uh, four three to four days i would say three to five days are expected to not five four days three to five days are expected to be bullish in uh, let me increase that so you can so next four to five days are expected to be bullish and I'm expecting that at the week at the end of next week uh, we should get ready for the prices to come downward the next week itself stays bullish however so I'm expecting a price movement something like this uh, for the next week and then we shall wait for the break of the trend line all right if you see a resistance point right over here being caught uh, being matched or right over here to this both of our tower targets first target and the second target and then we'll wait for the prices to uh, clear the trend and then we will turn bearish so i can clearly see that there is unless what happens that this price goes on and we can see uh, price movement way past the previous top this top especially and it can go into that territory in that case we can expect the price prices to stay in this regard but I'm expecting that we are going to catch this trend this top and if it is really strong you can catch this one and that's it after that we shall start seeing prices to drop downward I'm of point of view that a US dollar is still not done with euros and other currencies so that means there's going to be a lot of pressure on currencies um, on the rest of the economy apart from US's own US is going to uh, create a new high as far as dollar index itself is concerned but next week I'm talking about the, the week after the next week so next week on its own is expected to be somewhat of a bullish price movement and this is I think right now that cryptocurrency would stay bullish for next three to four days I've already given you guys the time period and euro would stay bullish and british pound would stay bullish and canadian dollar would stay bullish let's have a look at british pound and see how british pound is doing uh, we can see that british pound is behaving a little better as compared to uh, euro but it still is expected to create a top somewhere in this region right over here for next week and after that we'll turn bearish 
So I'm still thinking that the move actually started from the top is yet not done. So I'm expecting that this behavior shall continue in British Pound somewhere in this region. Let's have a look on hourly time frame. Yeah, pullback has already happened. I'm consider con considering this as an A and this as an a B. And I'm considering this whole price movement as a wave 1 and a 2. And I'm expecting that 3, 4 and 5 would happen in next few days. So this is the labeling if you guys are interested in Elliott wave analysis. Labeling, then let me bring that quickly right over here too. So an A and a B and then a C. That's the start of the pattern. That would become not intermediate. I would say it uh, to be min minor. And then we'll call it as. And you guys can definitely use the same labeling for uh, for euro. So we have a smaller one right over here this is the start of the pattern and we have a smaller one and two there's a possibility we can definitely go sideways a bit and after that structure after the two is complete we are looking for three four and five i need to bring the chart a little down so you can actually adjust the target so this is what you're expecting We do need to g uh, wait for it. Let's see. We do need to wait. If does if it does not come, it does not come. We do need for uh, uh, c the, the the probability that the side wave behavior is yet not complete. If it can fall all the way down right over here, that will be a good entry point to go long. If it does not come back, it does not come back. Uh, joining the market at this point would be I don't think so. Would be a good idea. But again, once again, that's your that's your decision to make. Okay, let's have a look at Canadian dollar. Okay. Let's do auto and mm -hmm. give me a moment, I'm looking at something. So this tells us now that the behavior that actually started from over here will actually continue. We already crossed this one. So our target is going to be the next target for Canadian dollar is right over here, which is 1.25203. Uh, and then we'll turn bullish on the chart, meaning Canadian dollar, because this is an upside down chart. So that mean, mean that we'll turn where the Canadian dollar, it will start becoming weaker against US dollar. But next week should be, I'm expecting the next week should be uh, in the favor of Canadian dollar. Canadian dollar will start becoming, uh, will continue be becoming stronger against US dollar. This is what I'm looking at right now uh, as far as Canadian dollar is concerned. I hope that you guys uh, like the content. Thank you so much for liking and uh, making comment section. Uh, and, uh, if you want to share with your community, why not? Go ahead. Once again, see you guys next week. Wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one and bye-bye.